I'm Tampa Bay's news leader. This is the morning show. Time right now is 618 and it's a common problem for millions of Americans. How to lose weight and keep it off. The couple you're about to meet had hit rock bottom when they decided to do something even they didn't think would work. Well, it worked better than they could have ever imagined. And they did it without surgery, dieting, or even exercising. Beautiful day. Sue and Roy May are enjoying a beautiful Saturday morning. Taking their dogs for a walk, they have a little extra glide in their stride, and it's not because they're trying to keep up with the dogs. They've actually lost 150 pounds together. Roy has lost 74, Sue 75. Married for 15 years, each has struggled with their weight. Sue was nearly 300 pounds with a BMI of close to 40%. Depressed and in pain, she had finally had enough. You just get sick and tired of being sick and tired. You know, that's the bottom line. You hit some kind of an emotional bottom. I certainly did where I was um, very ashamed of uh, what I had become in terms of physically. Roy says being overweight was all he's ever known. I was the fat kid in school. I was a fat kid in college. I've been that way all my life. But life as they knew it was about to change. They had been on countless diets and considered going under the knife for gastric bypass surgery. But last April, they realized to shrink their waistlines, they needed to expand their minds. As you recall, the experience of having that band placed on your belly. Sue and Roy lost the weight with hypnosis. Rena Greenberg performs what she calls gastric bypass hypnosis surgery. Even though it's called a surgery, there are no scalpels, sutures, or anesthesia. Just the soothing sound of Rena's voice. But the gastric bypass hypnosis is actually we're simulating the surgery in hypnosis and imagining that that band is placed on the belly so you just can't eat too much food. Sue admits she was afraid hypnosis wouldn't work, but she had nothing to lose except extra pounds. It didn't take long before she started to notice a change. I just felt um, lighter in terms of just my mood, just feeling um, refreshed. One thing that hypnosis does is it does sort of energize you. The true test was last Easter, just a few days after her procedure. The grandkids had an assortment of candy, and Sue didn't want any. For me, I felt around food like, well, I, I need to eat to nourish my body, but I don't need to eat a bunch of Easter candy or anything like that. Not putting junk in her body also means a healthier pantry veggies and fridge. Open. This is all veggies. Mostly all veggies, actually. Would that have been filled with veggies before? Uh, no. Roy didn't think hypnosis would work at first, but he got a kick in his size 54 pants when he wasn't being treated like the other men in his office. I felt like, you know, he's just a fat guy. You know, he doesn't know what he's doing. When I see the young, thin guys who are more aggressive, more involved in things. He also faced the grim reality that his health was at stake. He had already undergone two open heart surgeries and beat cancer, but he was still battling high cholesterol and diabetes, taking between 15 to 20 pills every day. My meds run me about $700 a month in copays. Shortly after seeing Rena, the man who ate to numb his shame, was able to stare down his food demons. Food is what I have to have to survive every day. It's what my body needs. I don't have a desire to feed it crap anymore. Now the couple's desire for food has turned into desire for one another. And when I look at her and how good she looks, she'll tell you, I, I'm like a 20 year old again. Incredible. Okay, so Rena Greenberg is kind enough to join us in studio bright and early this morning. Thank you so much for joining us. First of all, tell us a little bit about who this would work for because it's not going to work for everyone. Yeah, well, most people who want to lose weight have tried everything already. So it really works for the person who's, as Sue and Roy said, they've hit rock bottom. Yeah. They're ready to make this change. And what it involves is 
changing the way we think about food subconsciously. So really, everybody needs to do that in order to be successful. In one way or another, we have to change the way we think mm -hmm. about food subconsciously. So we naturally prefer healthy foods and we're turned off to harmful foods without feeling deprived. Sure, but you might you have to know that people are so skeptical and yes. they're saying, if I can think myself thin, why do we have an obesity epidemic in this country? But you say that everyone is not able to be hypnotized because we think of it as something in a, you're being in a trance. You have to willingly say, I want this and right. I, I'm ready for you to tell me what I need to know. Exactly, but Ginger, the truth is we're being hypnotized all the time by media, by advertising, by by the voices in our head from the past and the pictures that we're making in our mind. So basically, instead of running the old mental movies that say I'm out of control, mm -hmm. I have to eat everything on my plate, these mental movies have been with us since childhood. You know, you've, you've hurt sure. yourself, have some cookies and milk, and it's about replacing that with new positive images of pushing food away, feeling empowered, feeling in control, and preferring healthier foods. So it's a natural state. Yeah, and the, the way it works is that they see you for one session, and it kind of gets them going, and then by the third session is when the actual surgery yes. takes place. Yeah. And you still call it a surgery. Right. Yeah. Right. But of course, it's just virtual. It's in the mind. Yes. But the purpose of having that package of sessions is to really get ready, lay that foundation, to take these tools forward. And I give everyone tools of reinforcement. It's about reprogramming your own mind. Absolutely. Okay. And we're going to put that information, all of our information, uh, Rena's website, easywillpower.com. We're going to link that to a story I'll put on our website a little bit later on. And by the way, it's about $1,100 to do that. Lap band gastric bypass surgery, about fifty dollars or $60,000. Joe? Mm -hmm.